Welcome to the High Line. The High Line runs from Garnford Street to West 34th Street between 10th Avenue and 12th Avenue. It was built on an old elevated freight rail line. It is 1.45 miles long. It is open to the public, displaying many different plant and tree species, along with a few art exhibitions. The first artwork I saw when I entered the High Line through 23rd Street was organ mapping. This work was created by an Irish artist named Marichin Dans using concrete. In June 2011, organ mapping was on display in Berlin, which is also on display at the High Line. When I first saw this, I thought of anatomy because of the movable parts and the display of the body. I also thought this may be a message to society about race. With the use of different colors, materials, and the design for each section, when they came together, the sculpture became one piece. This shows, no matter where you come from or which direction you come from, everybody is one person. The artist's purpose was to show the relationship between the human body and earth. Another work that is on display at the High Line is Urban Rattle. Urban Rattle was created by Charlie Hewitt, which is a metal sculpture built in 2012. At first, I wasn't sure if it was an artwork for the High Line or an ornament for the hotel's courtyard. When I first saw this piece, I thought it was spelling love in a unique way along with its bright colors. After doing some research, I found out they were rattles. Hewitt's main focus for this piece was to create a dramatic lighting effect at night. A lift my lamp beside the golden door was made by a Berlin-based artist named Dorothy Einen. The painting is on display at the High Line from March 2018 to March 2019. To me, the artist is trying to make a fashion statement because of the three different outfits which are on the woman that looks like the Statue of Liberty. After doing some research, the title came from the final line of The New Colossus, a poem by Emma Lazarus, which is about the freedom promised by immigration to America engraved on a bronze plaque mounted inside the statue at Liberty Island. The last artwork, Cream, or C-R-E-A-M, is a sign that says Iron Woodland, similar to the Hollywood sign, that is a sculpture created by an artist from Los Angeles named Sable Ellis Smith. This is on display at the High Lane from March 2018 to March 2019. When I saw the sculpture, I thought it was a replica of the Hollywood sign, but says Iron Woodland because of the materials used to build the tracks for the rail lines. In actuality, the design is a replica of the Hollywood sign from her hometown and the Ironwood State Prison, which is the segregated real estate development that was advertised by the original sign.